Roughly a year ago, dear friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network, told me about one of his contacts that was speaking glowingly about the Nintendo Switch 2 and bringing projects forward to Nintendo's next generation platform, essentially showing way more excitement for Nintendo Switch 2 than for, well, the Nintendo Switch, right? Like, there's no secret at the beginning of the Nintendo Switch generation. There were a lot of developers, typically a lot of AAA developers, I won't name any specific companies, that were not very supportive or speaking very kindly about the Nintendo Switch, and they didn't think it was going to be that successful. But again, Paul Gale Network had told me about one individual that, hey, uh, I was speaking glowingly about Nintendo's new platform that maybe wasn't speaking so glowingly of it, I don't know, say in 2017. Fine. That's cool. That was a year ago. Well, we have a massive update on this story today that not only includes more excitement for Nintendo Switch's launch window specifically, also uh, more likely than not chance that Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be revealed this calendar year, not fiscal year. Yes, Nintendo said fiscal year, but how about in calendar year 2024? We've been waiting for any sort of insider, any sort of information that Nintendo Switch 2 could actually be revealed in 2024 that isn't just speculation. And now we have some today, thanks to Paul Gale Network. Now, some of you might want to know who Paul Gale Network is. Just going to give a quick background. He has been in this industry for a hell of a long time. He has gone to every single E3, and he's got friends and connections everywhere. Just to give you an idea, he's actually co-hosting Indie Mania coming up in September that we will be co-streaming to help advertise all the indie games. They just did a massive recording session with all these studios in person, so very well connected, very friendly person, and he's the one that got the ball rolling on this literally two days ago. And more than that, I got Paul Gale Network on my podcast last night, which admittedly isn't that hard to do because we're personal friends, and I drilled him on the things he said publicly, and we got a little extra out of him. Enough tiny morsels to get you excited about a Nintendo Switch 2 reveal relatively soon. That being said, before we dive into all of this, I want to let you guys know that we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on the latest with Switch 2, Nintendo, Echoes of Wisdom, Jamboree, Brothership, Metroid Prime 4, and all the rest. Maybe some Legend ZA news if we happen to get some. Now, what I want to go dive into here right now is the thing that got the ball rolling. Not what he said to me a year ago, because he said that to me privately, and he did eventually make it public over on Twitter. Well, what did he say now? Because he didn't talk about this one with me ahead of time. Paul Gale Network over on X. A few major third-party developers whom at E3 2017, remember, before I said there was one, this was like one a year ago, a few major third-party developers whom at E3 2017 weren't anticipating Nintendo Switch taking off the way it did and didn't have a AAA title at launch. That's why I said, what AAA games? Or the show itself are working on big launch window releases for Nintendo's next system. Nintendo Switch 2 will have some early, significant ports, parallel releases, and exclusives. I am thrilled at the prospect of what is next. Now, to be clear, Paul Gale Network's not the only person to talk about massive third-party support coming early to Nintendo Switch 2. Insider Gaming's Tom Henderson actually gave a similar statement last year on X about the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, this was when the Switch 2 was presumably supposed to come out in holiday of 2024. But as you're seeing here, yeah, Tom Henderson was already hinting at this. So this just adds further evidence to the pile. But Nate, what does this have to do with the system being revealed? Well, if we go back to this, there are some comments in here that led me to want to follow up with them. Said so, Paul, you know something I don't, and this excites me greatly. Nearly a year ago, I heard something positive from one third party. Fast forward, and a few is better than one. Now you just need to tell me that some whispers are happening on a 2024 reveal of successor. Paul Gale says, it is shockingly close. So I will be rounding here. 
But there is a Nintendo 64% chance that the Nintendo Switch successor will be shown off in 2024. Now, I, knowing Paul Gale and knowing his affinity for Nintendo numbers, right? A lot of our workouts, you know, that we've done in the past go with the 8-bit. So, like, 8 push-ups, 16 push-ups for 16-bit, Nintendo 64 jumping jacks, etc., right? 128 when we're celebrating the GameCube. What's interesting about that is when he said the Nintendo 64%, I really wasn't sure if he was just kind of yanking my chain and having some fun. So I wanted to get him on my podcast and ask him a few questions. And so I did. First off, asked him about that third-party support thing. What is going on? And clarifying a few is more than one. What, what are we talking about? Here's what Paul Gale Network had to say about what he's been told and, and why he's talking about this for the launch window of Nintendo Switch 2. What is going on, Paul? Yeah. Is this a leak? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it a leak, but I'll tell you that it's an update of what I told Nate about a year ago. An uh, exciting update. By yeah. Way. Is this a rumor plus? This is, uh, this is from good news to better news because it goes from one source to a few basically confirming the same thing that okay you okay. know development going into the Nintendo Switch successor is more promising than development was going into Nintendo Switch so you can't expect if a few developers and I won't even say the exact number but eh, more than two you know <laughs> a, a few begins at three. a few is more than two yep <laughs> so I'll just say, if a few developers are having earlier access, earlier want to be developing for this system, that speaks well to the faith that they have in it. I learned before from a developer that the anticipation and the drive to want to work with Nintendo Switch's successors dev kit is higher and more promising than it, it was going into Nintendo Switch. One has become a few. So that means within that launch window. Specifically, obviously, I like the whole idea of this whole launch window and like the insanity mm. that could be coming because of third party support. Just to clarify, since we have the man in the room, uh, Paul Gale Network today, or yesterday, whatever, put out a, 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 a public tweet that he, as he clarified today, more than two, not one, more than two, not an exact number. He's not saying three, four, five, six. It could be 20 for all we know. We don't know. But more than two people in the industry have made him aware of excitement from developers, in particular third-party ones, because he clarified that, hey, it's these are people that weren't necessarily excited back in 2017 about bringing games during the launch window to Nintendo Switch 2, whenever that launch window is or however long that launch window is. And kind of inferring potentially maybe AAA, we don't know. Could be indie, could be all of the above. So just put out there, this is just another person with their own sources saying, and this time specifically in the launch window, could be a lot of, a lot of big games. A lot of big games coming that aren't Nintendo published. So let's kind of toss that to other people. Unless Paul, that's it. Did I misspeak? No, that's that's accurate. Yeah. yeah. Clickbait. Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> now that's really exciting. And there were a few more statements in there. I edited it for brevity. Uh, if you want the full thing, you can either go watch the podcast. It's up right now or wait for the podcast clip of this section to drop probably over the weekend, if not early next week over on the Nintendo Byte Podcast Clips channel. But I wasn't done there because obviously, what did I mention before? That Nintendo 64%. What the hell is up with that? Of course, I had to drill him about that Nintendo 64% about it being revealed in 2024. I, I can say it's very close to exactly 64% chance that Nintendo will reveal Nintendo Switch's successor this year. So even though I said there's a possibility that it gets shown off in February or... March 30th, well, there is a 64% chance specifically 
almost exactly, I won't tell you how I know this, but I know this, <laughs> that it will get shown this year. Okay, you're not bullshitting me right now. No, no, this is 100% fact. I'm, a, You know your meme? 75% of the time, I'm 100% correct, right? You know that one? They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. I'm telling you right now, though, not jokingly, there is a 100% chance that there's a 64% chance it gets shown off this year. So that's bullshit. No, no, no. No, no. I'm saying not jokingly. It yeah. is it is, it is, is just under exactly two-thirds I that it will it. be shown I'm off. Basically, but, but what's I'm buying you to a 64%? There, there's a reason. but There's a reason he can't give is what he's saying. So he does know something, but he, there's no, like, he can't actually give any details on anything. You could speculate, oh, maybe this many developers, and then, oh, here's here's one. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say this. More than two, so there's three, and two said this year. Got it! Of the developers, what percentage of those developers could be it? Of the games that are not, of the sales projection, what oh, percentage boy. of that, of days of that, of that, 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 out there uh so we got clarification on all of it he has heard from more than two people that the nintendo switch 2 will be revealed in 2024 and that's how many more than two i don't know he's talked to a few but he's saying it's more than two he's not he's clarifying probably not three but it could be three but either way it's more than two so it could be three well how much is a few a few is more than two so it could be three four five six right you know i don't exactly know when the cutoff is for a few but he's heard from multiple people and two-thirds of them have told them and then he rounded to the nice nintendo 64 so it wasn't like exactly 64 percent. it was more like 66 but he rounded because again nintendo 64 64 percent. it's a very uh fun number to play with but I, this just makes me really exciting because when I think about the rumors that have been out there, we've had rumors of a March potential release for a while, primarily from PH Brazil, but there's been a couple other outlets that have sort of corroborated that they've heard Q1 of calendar year of 2025, March, et cetera. So there's been a little bit of corroboration with what PH Brazil has said, but we haven't really heard anything about when the system's going to be revealed. It's pretty much been all speculation Besides what Nintendo said, Nintendo said specifically an announcement for Nintendo Switch 2 would happen this fiscal year, which does end in March of 2025. So there's already a timetable for when it would be revealed, but there was no guarantee that it would be revealed in 2024. So I kept waiting for insiders or anyone with knowledge to even hint that it's going to be revealed this calendar year. And it seems like Paul Gale's the one to go out there and be like, hey, he ain't going to know anything, anything about who my sources are, but uh, yeah. Of course, he did He did give one hint, if you want to try hunting down. He said, uh, sources, you can imagine, he went to E3 2017. Uh, he talked to a bunch of developers, you know, over 150 different companies, so thousands of people, thousands of developers at uh, E3. He talked to a bunch of them, and uh, these people are practically the sources. Good luck on figuring it out and narrowing it down. Third parties that didn't bring games to Switch in 2017 – that's pretty much all of them. <laughs> so, like, like if it wasn't like Bethesda with Doom, good luck. It was pretty much all of them, right? Right? Bethesda with Doom and Skyrim. Besides that, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of third-party support. There's Ubisoft, I guess, as well. But, like, literally, there wasn't a ton of third-party support for Nintendo Switch in 2017. So, good luck narrowing down an, an event filled with AAA developers that weren't supporting Switch uh, and... Figured out which ones are now the ones saying they're going to be coming here and gonna, the thing's going to get revealed this year. Anyways, we'll see what happens, guys. I'm just really excited by this stuff. I love talking Nintendo Switch 2, and I love that I have like real video clips because it is rare at times that like information comes out like this, and I could just literally talk directly to the person like I did on the podcast. That's why I wanted them on. I thought it would create a great discussion. You guys should go check out that episode if you want. We'll link that down below as well. You guys are awesome. I want to thank you for being here. Let me know what you think about all this, and I'll catch you in the next video.